Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It's oh, Superkick. Let's go. Let's go. Third. Let go. Superkick party. Yeah, pay the money for that. No one. And of course, you got to get the coffins. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Saturday night to one and all here, and welcome to the AEW Collision Sidecast here on the Mike the Ref Twitch channel. I love that little flip over now. It's so cool. Hey, Jay Quick, how you doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. There's been a ton of wrestling to watch here in the last 24 hours. Uh, I hope you got a chance to see Rampage. I hope you got a chance to see Collision in Chicago, or Windy City, Collision in Chicago. The New Japan show. I uh, was uh, just uh, hearing about uh, Yamamoto and uh, Mercedes in the main event there. Or Watanabe, sorry. Heard that was an absolute jam bang. I, I heard the whole show was a jam bang. I, Bash in Berlin, I was had a chance to... Uh, yeah, the TNA show was last night, Emergence. Who would have put... Like, I get it, him showing up in... Uh, in CMLL or AAA, because, you know, Mexico is the wild frontier. But having JBL actually show up at uh, Emergence last night to whisper something in Nick Nemeth's ear and take off, to me, it's like, wow, holy crap. So you didn't expect when you were, uh, not even a year ago, right? Homer, welcome. Good to see you here. Nice little pet scratcher there. So always, uh, always good to see new people hanging around here today. Now you have Bash of Berlin, Collision, TNA taping, and the NWA anniversary show. Yeah, the NWA show. This, if I do remember, this show is actually live tonight. It's not, it's not taped. I think that's why there's no, there, there's been a few car, uh, like uh, posters about the car coming out so far. But there hasn't been anything to really say that what's actually on the card outside of those individual matches. Like we're getting uh, Commander versus Buddy Matthews. We're getting uh, Orange Cassidy, Kyle O'Reilly, and Hologram versus... Uh, Try to think of it off the top of my head here. Someone else regarding the future NWA is supposed to be... Yeah. They keep saying that every... It, it seems like it's happened quite a bit lately. That they constantly say, Oh, the future of the... The future of the NWA is coming out. They probably just... They're probably going to announce either a new YouTube show or they're going to be... I don't want to consider NWA the uh, new TNA in terms of always living like a cockroach because I don't think it will. And I think a lot about this announcement has a lot to do with the fact that uh, you have, uh, it, uh, sorry, NXT moving to USA here, or not USA, uh, the CW, the channel that they're on. Here in just literally a few, uh, what, just, what, a month from now? Sorry, I keep flipping through the TSN app trying to f find collision here, so. Could see it being a TV deal, a streaming deal, a new show. or Yeah, that's why I don't pay much attention to the NWA deals. And ever since they decided to let James Mitchell do that, cocaine scene in that one pay-per-view like they had to know that they were going to be in tough there we go yeah that was in Cleveland that's right Uh, 
Okay, so Nigel's getting his uh, flowers right now from Tony. That'll last about three minutes. It's going to be nice to see what kind of re reception hologram gets out in the normal atmosphere. Hey, Tony, it's not your company. Yeah. So, Jay Quick, now that we've had a few days and anybody else in the chat who wants to respond, feel free. Now that we've had a few days to digest it, what are, what do they think you're looking at here? What what was what was John Moxley referring to there? WWE invasion? I think it's going to be sort of a mini one. I think Shafir is a key point to this. I think it's more of a blood sport crew. And when I say a blood sport crew, you got Marina Shafir already in there. It would not surprise me one little bit if the contract to Sammy Callahan was coming up. Maybe Sam and I know Sammy and Moxley, I believe, are pretty damn good friends. So I, I could assume that that might be a connection there. You also got MVP coming out, Lashley coming out. Oh, that's right. It's Lee Moriarty teaming up with Johnny TV and who's the third one? Oh, the Beast Mortals. Okay, that makes sense. Well, it doesn't make sense, but the Mortos is in there just to uh, just to take care of uh, Hologram, right? He's that ultimate post. But once again, you're getting uh, you're getting Hologram with some people that he might have some familiarity with, because Johnny TV has been uh, down in Mexico before. With Triple A. Great to see uh, yesterday, or I guess it would be Thursday now, on uh, ROH TV. You got Ty Valkyrie getting into a feud with Mina Shirakawa, apparently. Down, uh, down in Ring of Honor, and the rumor is that uh, Mina's moving to the states, which. <laughs> Let me just throw out the horn right now on that one. I I'm so glad that Tony's telling us we're going to have a great two-hour program here because I, I try to have faith every week because I don't know what we're getting here out of this. I do believe our main event tonight is going to be... Uh, the Undisputed Kingdom of uh, Taven and Bennett take it on FTR, which I've heard of worse things made of venting. And it very well could lead to something for All Out, right? Because right now we only have, I believe it's three matches announced. Three or four. We have a Chicago street fight between Willow Nightingale and Chris Statlander. We have... Uh, the steel cage match between Swerve and Hangman. We got Brian Danielson versus Jack Perry, which I I hope that this ends the this officially ends the saga of uh, Jack Perry in uh, in Chicago in general. But then also we got Pac versus Will Osprey, so. Don't sleep on what's going to happen next Saturday here with uh, with All Out here. Last year when they had the pay-per-view, they ended up having, what, four? They had maybe three matches announced, and the rest were just... It, it felt very ECW dis member to dismember. Or dis December to dismember, sorry. It was even such a bad name that I... Didn't even spit it out right. But with with uh, that little announcement, we got just such a hell of a card. 
Could you imagine if we get some of the people back that uh, were last seen on that card? Or just being memorable appearances, like a guy like Miro, which I I'm pretty sure Miro's not under contract anymore, but who knows at this point? Oh, there we go. The Bang Bang Gang versus the Premier Athletes. That's it's a good match to get the Bang Bang Gang back on a good track here after the ladder match. It does also help work them toward... Uh, Fletcher. Fletcher could have died tonight. First he's got Ricochet, now he's got Ishii. Uh, to me, that's not exactly the safety, safest thing in the world. They're putting the women in the main tonight. Aminata, Sheeta, Deeb, and Thunder Rosa. That, that's either going to be great or an absolute car wreck. With the fact that Deeb's in there, I think I'm going to lean more towards the great part. I think you get more of a car wreck when it comes to uh, if if D wasn't in there and Thunder Rosa's fighting everybody in the ring. I'm looking forward to see what Sheeta's got to do with her new Yakuza character. Just try to expand that a little bit more. She may be glamorous, but that hair, my goodness. I love the fact that Hallgram gets a chance to work with some of these other guys. Okay, that was unique. That was definitely a very unique cover. Uh-oh. Block the Tierras, I like that. Stop calling it invasion. <laughs> hey, McGee, how you doing? No, uh, we, we, we mentioned it a little weird there. Sorry, it was... It wasn't an invasion we were talking about. It was more like we, we were trying to announce what's going to happen with Moxley. Like, what's happening with Moxley and Shafir? We're trying to come up with our own ideas. By the way, good to see you tonight. Uh, just as the graphics up, just a heads up for everybody. Uh, this Friday, I will not be here for the collision sidecast. Unfortunately, there's this thing called SmackDown that is in Edmonton that night. Haven't got my ticket yet, but right now they're advertising 30% off. So I'm probably going to look it up and get, get one this weekend. I usually just try to find the nosebleed, whatever I can find on the edge. And if I could accomplish that, then i consider that a win. It's not only eight. This is Ticketmaster doing it, just for the record first. If I do see discounted tickets for WWE, definitely I will be calling it out. Morto's trying to call for a sleeper. He ain't, he ain't that tall. Well, that's how you end it. <laughs> Martos just said, nope. No, and uh, yeah, just as a heads up, I do understand that uh, it was a different source quoting Ringside News. Don't ever use Ringside News as a source, ever. Brad Shepard and that gang over there is about as useful as... Oh, how do I put this politely? Like, I think I said it perfectly in the, uh, in the preamble on, on, on the post, right? It, it's almost like the Leafs when, uh, Leaf fans in September are thinking they're going to win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's all right. Hologram just lodged here. Good to see you here, Zodiac. Sorry, one of those there. 
KJ. Let's get you one of those in there. <laughs> Everybody just pile it in here tonight. Jay Quick, I owe you one from earlier. <laughs> Good to see everybody here tonight. We're just filing in left, right, and center here for the most random... Like, it, it really does feel like this is a random collision here tonight. Like, nothing's really booked between X, Y, and Z, right? Like, this match here, like, I, I don't see any real booking coming out of it. Maybe Moriarty and Cassidy, but there's a few other matches here I'm looking forward to that are uh, that might be producing some stories here. Like I know the Bag Bag Games are gonna be yelling and swearing about wanting. Did I watch Bash of Berlin? Well, truth be known, I got home at six o'clock Eastern time, uh, trying to wolf down supper. I watched a. Basically a skippable version of the show. Which the one good thing about WWE is you can take their show and just fast forward through the the fluff and you can get to the basic points. And I think you are exactly where you need to be there with the Zodiac. It was a good show. Was it anything that's going to blow anything out of the water? No. Is it, uh, is it worth checking out? If you could get it on delay and skip through a bunch, I, I haven't seen the main event yet. But the story I'm hearing from the main event is one of the reasons why I can't stand some of the booking sometimes. Both heavyweight championships based on a challenger that everybody claims has a special, a special reason to get a title shot. It, uh, to me, it lined up where Randy Orton had a, a, a viable reason due to that bad pinfall. But then Kevin Owens had a viable reason due to his tenure. Tenure and loyalty. So when you're booking matches face versus face, which I'm sorry, Gunther's a face in Germany. He's not from Germany, but he basically his development was in Germany. It's sort of like when people talk about Tony Storm being English. No, she's not English, but she did most of her career there. So it it just makes sense where people would think that. It seemed like very safe. And I think all of these mid-card PLEs are going to be like that. Like if you wanted a real... Austria is close enough to Germany. It's okay as long as we don't talk about the war. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll just leave it there. Because, yeah, that... Yeah. I guess when they were in Vienna, I was watching some clips online. <laughs> Thank you, Big G, for that. I I'm glad the channel points are working out here. Uh, yeah, it's... To, to me, it's one of the, uh, oh, uh, what I was saying there on the live tour, Vienna, when they were there, apparently uh, there were some rumblings that they might actually do a PLE in Vienna instead. They said they were trying to use it as a, uh, as a method to sort of pump up the crowd in Berlin at the Uber Arena. Jesus, Mortos. Like, Kyle knows how to sell, but God, that was a clothesline. Johnny looks out on his feet on the, on the side here. Yeah, Johnny don't look right.
It's even telling uh, Moriarty. Yeah, I. Sorry, just quickly ripping through. Yeah, I'm here. Another thing I'm hearing, and the reason why I don't do a lot of, uh, Jesus, Johnny just, yeah, no, I don't think he's doing, we'll see here. This might be more than just selling. Okay. This is. A little stage of unbelievable there, but I think Johnny got kicked in the head. And him and Moriarty are just. Oh, my God, that was a great counter. Think Johnny's okay, but most likely lost sequence. Well, I know they said in a dark match or the ROH tapings, his last tapings, they were a little off. Something ain't right here, yeah. Now we got the kicks going full speed. Now, with that mask on, wouldn't that headbutt be illegal? All right, looks like they might have this back in track here. AEW makes the roll rules. Fair enough. That's not a mask. It's his real head. <laughs> that would surprise me if it was an old dinosaur, right? No, removing it would. Blizzard time. Oh. Blizzard time. Oh, did you get a blizzard? I was thinking of picking one up on the way home, but it's too warm outside. It'll melt by the time I bring it into the apartment. So is hologram going to get his first loss? You wish? Yeah. What's the weather like here? It's 25 and sunny right now. What the hell? Oh my god, he's got the crucifix as his pin. That's his finisher. But did you guys see that? I would say a side Russian leg sweep, but that was from the top rope. That's like when you do WWE All-Stars. The old cartoony game. And you do a, a, a side Russian leg sweep off the top, they flip you three times. That's not supposed to happen to a human body. I, I love how Kyle and Orange are trying to hype this up. All right, so we're getting the Moxley uh, walk in here. Hologram versus Ricochet. Give Hologram time. I, th I still think he's having some trouble adjusting a little bit. But yes, definitely. I'll give you that. So. Do you think. Do you think Darby joins up with Moxley in this new faction, maybe? 
Hologram versus Ricochet versus... Now you're getting greedy. Now you're getting greedy. Just remember that. I want it all, I want it all, and I want it now. Isn't that the way the song goes? And I love that Marina's in that group, by the way. If she could have somebody like Moxley help push her right now and put her into that proper situation, I, I think it's going to be great. Just here to hear my voice. Oh. Oh. I do think Darby joins the wager war against the elite. Yeah, I think so. My God, I want to be Juice Robinson when I grow up. Can, can I just say that right now? I want to be Juice Robinson when I grow up. Like, if you look at his life, he's so carefree in the ring. And he gets to go home to Tony Storm every night. Like, what's there to lose there? Maybe they should give Darby a send-off months before he get, goes to Everest instead of weeks so he can heal. Yeah. I really do wonder if that's a that was just a publicity stunt or not. It, it doesn't. I don't think so. But you know, just put the pieces together. That uh, Jay White injures him the week that he's leaving with, and it almost looks like a shoot way to injure somebody in the ring. So, if you guys didn't get a chance to check out the preview clip before the show with Lexi and Mark Sterling, Sterling was going off nonstop that uh, this is the premier arena, so this belongs to them. Oh, and uh, you could say he got cold feet. I'll give you that one there for you. Sign Turbo Jack? No. If you guys don't watch Wrestle Talk, you know who Turbo Jack is. Doesn't Sterling have like an ambulance to chase right now? He just seems like he'd be that guy. So I find it interesting that we're starting with two six-man tags on the card. This kind of booking does not make me feel bad with some of the interesting booking decisions I made on WWE 2K24. Which, by the way, we will be uh, continuing on our my GM mode right after we're done here on, uh, on Collision here with the sidecast. We're on to week 17, three weeks away from Survivor Series, which... I still can't understand why they got Survivor Series as the pay, the PLE moving towards WrestleMania, but I digress. Um, yeah, so as we go along here, just... But having two six-man tags, it just... It almost feels like they're getting a lot of the talent out out of the way early here. Wait, bang, bang, in your face? Yeah, well, they were sort of tweeners to begin with because the crowd was cheering up. AEW has this one problem that, you know, many people, many of the old school people in wrestling are having a real problem with this in re wrestling these days. There's no real heels anymore. Except for maybe MJF, which even really that is a push in a way. Like people, people that are sincerely despised. 
And the Bang Bang Gang are the same way. Like, it's cool to be bad, I guess, for lack of a better term here. Cabo, I love Tony Nese. He, he deserves so much. Once again, everybody, thank you uh, for popping in here. I do know there are a few newbies in there, uh, whether you're lurking or whatnot. Uh, feel free to hit that follow button. We do this every Wednesday and Saturday for AEW here for uh, Collision and, D and Dynamite. Well, I'm just looking at my counter and, you know, numbers are up tonight. Everybody's coming out to check things out. I appreciate you all. Uh, me, a newbie. Um, I will blow a whistle on that because it's false. I really need to upgrade this soundboard. I'm slowly starting to get things put together here. Finally got all the seeds put together. I'm setting up that uh, I can run everything off OBS here. One of these days, I'll get a chance to show you guys everything that I'm doing here. You are one of the original followers. Especially when things started to get serious. Oh, and... Uh, Special note, I want to give a special shout out here because I got a message this morning asking about uh, something. If you're around at midnight Eastern, uh, 10 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock Mountain, 10 p.m. Mountain, uh, stop by the Love Wrestling CA uh, Twitch channel because you got uh, Saturday Night Love with Big Bad Boris. Uh, special guests tonight are going to be Pride and uh, T.Y. Jackson. And the reason I know this is because Boris is actually going to be showcasing T.Y. Jackson's premier match in wrestling, his first ever match in wrestling. And the reason I know about that is because it's one of my videos and he messaged us for permission, all that, which if you want to share my videos, go ahead. If you want to watch them, critique them, I'm not going to copyright flag anybody. Well, there might be one or two people I might flag for copyright, but that's a whole different er area there. Sterling was up a little bit too early on that one. And he eats a dive. I want to see Woods get the win here. Back at the podcast here. Yeah, like... Uh-oh. That's it. Three Ted to Yuma. Good night, nurse. Juice's hips. I wonder how much stretching he does before a match. To swing around like that, that much. Like if I tried doing that right now, I'd probably dislocate a hip. If not two. Oh, and uh, if you weren't here for the beginning of the show, they announced that the women's match is actually going to be the main event tonight with Aminata, Shida, Sarita Deeb, and Thunder Rosa. So, why do I have a weird feeling that Deanna Perrazzo is going to come out and attack Thunder Rosa again? Yeah, no, they, they announced that during the first match, so. Oh, please, God, no. Uh, wait, uh, hold on. No, 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 no. No, please, no. Let me throw that out for everybody here. Let's get it out. Let's just put it out in the, in the world. Maybe Marina shows up and says you're not, not your company anymore. I think they're going to wait for that, Jay Quick, to be honest with you. I think Marina makes her makes the impact that you're talking about, but I think she waits. I think they need to establish a little bit more about what's going on. Just put her in the match if that's the case. Yeah, well, I agree, but... Oh, 
okay. So we're seeing, we just got a fifth match announced for All Out now. I'm guessing. Oh, somebody screwed up in the back. So somebody's not ready. What do you guys think of Sheeta? Ah. Do they run that back so soon? Because they just ran that a month ago. I think the safe bet would probably be Rosa in this. Amanata, she just came out of the big feud with, with Athena. With Athena and Billy Starks and all that craziness that's going on there. Uh, Sarita Deeb. I know she wants to play a face. I I know that Sarita Deeb wants to pay, play a face, but nobody really gave a damn about her story. About like I feel for her for what she did, but nobody really cared when I remember being in Edmonton when Serena D was trying to get her promo out, ble basically bleeding her heart out, giving everything out there. And yeah, exactly. Let's go Oilers. So to, to Edmonton fans on that one. <laughs> Serena CM Punk is, I don't even think it's that. Did you guys hear uh, Kevin Owens' comments uh, when somebody asked uh, if he was a friend of CM Punk? We are not friends. We're, it reminded me of the Sterling Sharp comment to, that uh, came out years ago when he was in the playoffs. Do I know him? No. Do I do I like him? No. Do I associate with him? No. Do do I want to be around him? No. Do I do I have to work with him? No. If his trucks broke down, mine's working perfectly. Do I pick him up? No. And usually the fo the uh, follow up to that is for on my end. If somebody's on fire and my bladder's full, do I piss on him? No. <laughs> Sorry, that one went a little far. He was like, "If we had a feud, we'll talk." Well, probably. It's Evan Tony. It's cat like reflexes when it comes to those chants. <laughs> No, uh, oh, and before we keep going here, uh, speaking of cats, you can't think of cats without Kachuk, and if you can't think about Kachuk without thinking about the Calgary Flames and without the Calgary Flames right now, I uh, want to send the uh, biggest condolences to uh, Matthew and uh, Johnny Goudreau, who uh, were killed in a drunk driving accident uh, or drunk driving incident uh, this past week. Words around the NHL are beyond a reproach about how bad that was. The part that makes me the most sick about the whole thing was watching the response of the guy that's accused of it. And he was just complaining that he had to sit in jail till Thursday before he gets a bail hearing. Because apparently in New Jersey, the rule is you have to be in there for 72 hours. And like most businesses, 72 hours means business 72 hours. And just watching his reaction, it's like, yeah, he don't care, but it might be a point where if he doesn't get a very long sentence, hockey fans are nuts. I'd almost be, if I was him, I'd recommend a longer sentence right now. So I have to ask you, chat, FTR, have they, like, they're great wrestlers, don't get me wrong, what they do in the rig is absolutely fantastic, but are they starting to get a little stale on you? Yeah, it's FTR versus the Kingdom tonight, which is going to be a fun match. I, I'm, I'm loving to see this. And this is where, like we said, those pay-per-view quality matches can show up anytime. 
They didn't show the doomsday device. I'm surprised. There was some WWE mark that, uh, and I say mark in the derogatory term because this guy's an idiot. Uh, GYV pulled off the doomsday device like the old school one that happened like a Henry Godwin kind of thing. Uh, yesterday against the Outriders. And the guys are like, yeah, these guys are horrible. FTR's getting a little stale. I'm wearing an FTR shirt right now. They need to go away for a bit. <laughs> well, we'll throw that there for you. But yeah, that... To me, I just... I, I They need another storyline. And if the GYV give them that storyline, I'm with them. I, I'll take it. If we get GYV versus FTR next Saturday, I'll take it. Because I know it'll absolutely show up and create a great match. This group needs a reset. Well, this group needs to know what they're doing. Either that or they need a leader. One, one or the other. Th one or the other. Yeah, if, if FTR takes on GYV, GYV need to win that. This group needs its baby. That's exactly what I was talking about. So yeah, while well, we got a split sec, what time is it? Oh, it's it's been a half hour, so I can I could do a quick uh, programming note once again. Uh as they're bitching about uh, Collision here, just a reminder, I will not be here next Friday for Collision. Uh, Wednesday night, we are going to be doing a double taping of uh, my GM mode. So we don't miss out on the action. So after Dynamite on Wednesday, we're actually going to do two episodes, getting us ready for the Survivor Series PLE. And a week from Wednesday is when we're going to have that PLE. I keep undisputed on my TV or unreferenced until Cole's better. I think Cole's really close. But here's the problem. How many more injuries did he have besides the one he advertised? And for me, that that's the biggest thing. If It could be a point where... Jesus, Dax. It could be a point where he had like four injuries... Britt was the same way. Like, we knew that her back was fucked. We didn't know about the uh, the mini strokes, right? Not that we have any right to know about it either, but... While I'm, while I'm still saying that, it's still a fact that, you know... She had extra injuries that we didn't know about. Does Cole have that as well? My God, is anybody, want, anybody catching up with the Blue Jays right now? All the runs that they should have had yesterday, they're showing up. Because they're up 12 nothing right now. They, were, they batter rounds in the first and second innings. Like, that's almost, you know, contender level for once. Yeah, they scored seven of the first, exactly. Like, yeah, they're up by a dozen now. The yeah, kids they brought up were playing hard. Yeah, like, I do feel a couple of them are probably going to make the roster next year. Whether they make uh, the starting lineup or whether they're a backup guy. I want to see where this JBL thing is going with Impact. Could you imagine him working his way back to WWE with that? All right, chat, I do have to ask you a very important question, though. And it's sort of directly directed to why we're not having no stream tomorrow. 
Does Joe Henry Joe Henry win the uh, title on tomorrow night over uh, Ethan Page? Does he win the title? Because if there was anybody from Impact that was going to win, he goes all Tread Shaw. Atta boy, I'll give you that one. <laughs> I say trick screws him. I say no, but I'd love to see it. Yeah. If, if you don't know what Trent Shaw uh, he's referring to here, uh, you, first of all, shame on you for missing our uh, WWE streams. Number two, this this uh, Trent Shaw is a jobber that came in, literally said he'd work for free. So I said, well, fine, I'll put you against Gunther. They set up a level three rivalry, and now he is our... Uh, WWE champion. Absolutely no popularity. Create a wrestler. But we're we're working him up to the top here. It seems like an HBK thing to have happen. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I just it's a it's a month early for what I expect. I want to see who debuts during the women's match. Apparently. Apparently Julia's on a on a flight over. To be honest, I would rather have the girl from Australia debut first, because it's sort of the effect of once you get the big. Survivor Series better be the belt against Argus. Uh, I want to play up Gunther versus Trent again. To be perfectly honest, because right now Argus. Also has a title, so I don't want to go title for title. That's just a waste of... Well, if I could burn through the rivalry and have Trent still keep the title, which is feasible right now. We could talk about that during the during the main show, but yeah, I have an Argus, another creator wrestler. Oh no, trust me. I've thought about that, to be perfectly honest. If, if I could get guys with enough popularity to main event to get to a level five, four feud classes match title involved because I'll tell you this if Trent decides to beat Gunther in that blow off to the feud we're running Argus because he's the only other giant I have right now And I know the computer's going to give us that rivalry if I put it there. Oh, there's a, there's the loss in the woods. No, for those that are coming in, we are going to be having a steel cage match on the card. Uh, Ava Moreno has decided that she's leaving the promotion, so we always leave her out uh, in a uh, in a cage. We always let them leave in a cage if we can, if the, especially if they have a level four feud. That might actually lead the show off. I know I put it as the main event before we left, but I might move it to the move to the front. Either way, we got to have that match. We'll do it AEW style. We'll put the main event on first. I love that this match here, you have Cash get the hot tag instead of Dax. Dax is the guy that usually does it. But you notice we haven't had a singles match yet, like a one-on-one -on -one contest. I think we're only going to get one tonight. Because our singles contest today is supposed to be uh, finally a flying nothing turns into a clothesline. Oh, rolling Germans. Sorry, I just had to. 
Hey, Vic, how you doing? Oh, that's right. We get Ishii and Fletcher, so we get uh, we're gonna get two singles matches tonight. Things are how's Collision? Collision's doing not bad. It's been a couple weird matches to start. I think it's the best way to put it. Had the Bang Bang Gang uh, take out the Premier Athletes. Nothing really too surprising there. But then that first match we had. Hologram Cassidy and Fletcher, or sorry, uh, O'Reilly. Take it on Johnny TV, Lee Moriarty, and the Beast Mortos. You tell me you're going to remember that trio anytime soon. And Mercedes fights, yeah. They announced to that the winner of the main event tonight between... Uh, Hikaru Shida, Serena Deep, Thunder Rosa, and Queen Amanada will be facing Mercedes Monet next Saturday at All Out. I am so looking forward to that card. I, after last year, I'm really looking forward to it regardless. Because for those that don't, like we talked about it earlier, that card last year barely had anything announced and then everybody just Everybody just showed up and had great matches. Like the main event was Moxley and Orange Cassidy. Did I watch Mercedes and Bobo? No, I haven't had time. So yesterday, since I was on call, I really don't like to do too many things, anything that's too smart. Power and glory. They actually used the power of glory to finish tonight. And where does Moxley factor it all out? I think... That's a very good question. Oh, here we go. We'll get back to that in a minute. GYV get their shots in. I love this. I love the fact that soccer jerseys are now becoming uh, wrestling gear. We'll get back to that, all that in one sec here. All right. I, I love you guys. I love how you guys are just corporate takeover. Please tell me this match is next Saturday. Every last one. Fight, 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 fight. The itchy, it's catchy show. It's a revolution. No, that's in February. All right, Thunder Rose is back. Where's, where is uh, Deanna Perrazzo? All right, let's get back to this. Uh, Mercedes and Bobo, no, I haven't. The only highlights I've seen, I literally just watched. Uh, where does Moxley factor in it all out? Here's the weird thing. I don't even know if Moxley gets involved at all out. They're planting seeds for a future feud coming up. Uh, just so we can match things up a little better here, I am going to throw a two-minute ad up here just to... Uh, Clean things up a little bit, make it a little easier on us.
There we go. Uh, I'll, I like to match up the commercials a little bit better so it's easier on everybody here. So, um, Moxley started playing the seeds here because of the Darby, uh, Darby match against Danielson over at, uh, at Grand Slab coming up on the 25th. There's a little bit of possibility that there could be, uh, a little bit of streamlining there. A little bit of setting up, uh, maybe possibly, and hear me out. This is what I'm thinking. Danielson versus Box for his final match out in, T in Tacoma. Because I think all of us, as we've been talking, we, we sort of, I don't know if we all agree with it, but it's all come to an idea that it looks like the last match for Danielson should be in Tacoma, Washington, basically at home. I would assume most of you would agree on that point. I, I would want to have it anywhere else unless they want to do it in there. Like, I do believe they live in Arizona now, but there's no real outside factor to that. There might be a way to set this up that Moxley takes on Danielson as Tony Khan's pick champion uh, going at that pay-per-view, right? Because the fact that they're not bringing up the BCC and the BCC is not involved in any of this, it sort of makes me think that maybe Moxley's finally just randomly turned heel. And the thing with Box, it wouldn't take much to go either way, right? And the fact that Marita Shafir is there as well sort of you know, adds to it. Well, yeah, uh, going through the... Renee's your man. Okay, yeah, I know we were talking about that last time. Welcome back, everybody, from the uh, ad break here. Once again, thank you. That's going to take about three quarters of our uh, our show out of the way here, so we're not going to have an issue. What I'll do is when we ever get to our next commercial, our next... Uh, what the hell? Ah, good old lads. Welcome back to school. By the way, congratulations to all the students getting back into school again. <laughs> I just, you know, there's something soothing about watching Lance Archer just randomly beat the crap out of everybody. A plastic shovel. Yeah, he doesn't look like a wrestler at all. Ow. We always need more Archer. Maybe Archer will join Boxley. That'd be a nice addition. All right, this isn't a good side. We have it all ready, the rig group in the rig here. Oh, and Layla's back. Layla finally showed up. Former WWE guy. I'll give you that. How did Leo get the outfit? He didn't, he didn't get his pilot's license yet. And I, I'm almost scared to find out. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. My thought on a uh, certain comment that I was gonna make, I'm just gonna pass right now because, well, uh oh, might follow after the words I say on that. So, at least the team has the same gear, right? Oh my God. Jack Jamison, Turbo Floyd, the Iron Savages. We got some bicep movement here. I just really hope that this doesn't go long.
crowd's all over Turbo. Have you seen the name Scott Tamora is bringing his first Maple Leaf? Oh, God. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to do a show like that, you got to... You got to be impressive, right? If you want to make your brand established, like October 20th and 21st, that is going to be a fun, fun night with that pay-per-view. If if I had the time available, and I will check on it, I might actually even try to... Like we can talk about it together. It also helps that everyone likes them, absolutely. If you're not a dick, that usually helps a lot of people. All right, they got Leo in here. Uh, that's true. That show's going to be on uh, on Triller Plus, I do believe. That's the uh, seven ninety nine. Uh, it's it's either a pay per view or else it's on Triller Plus. One or the other. Yeah, Triller Plus. Okay, there. Also, make the Outriders champs. Really? Triller with all the... Well, you do have Triller right now. That's what... Basically, that used to be Fight TV. That was the app we used to watch all the pay-per-views on. They just have now a subscription service of $7.99. If you have Triller Plus, and you've already signed up for it, I will give you a recommendation to check out. It's local. Uh, Top Town Pro Wrestling is available on Triller Plus. You got to search Top Town Wrestling. They're a little behind their editing. And when I mean a little bit, I mean a lot. But they got some great matches there. Like one of the, one of the big matches I've seen so far that are, they have available. Timothy Thatcher taking on former UFC fighter uh, Mitch Clark. Who has really developed into an awesome uh pro wrestler now which for the record I do have his pro wrestling debut on my YouTube channel on the Backbreaker Gaming Wrestling channel it is there against Rick Jules the promoter saw that, that was a hilarious time oh god yeah Josh Alexander for, versus Takeshita I never like to look at indie pay-per-views cards that early in advance. For five cents, this stupid app. It's been it's been an hour, so it kicks me out. That makes sense. And if everything goes right, it'll kick out again at uh, 7.30. So it took four guys to get them over. Sounds like most wrestling matches in WWE. I don't like looking at cards because it's always cards subject to change. I just like enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, I I'll, I'll take a look a week before. Because typically at that time, you won't have too much to change. I've been burned way too many times with uh, different promoters just changing the cards randomly. Especially here locally. I personally last... Oh, last night. Sorry, I was, I was mentioning what I was doing last night. I actually got... Uh, there's a new uh, a new season of MLB The Show I was actually grinding a little bit last night when I had time the between the legs splash to finish it top flight wins again <laughs> the NXT yeah so that's why uh, we're actually not streaming tomorrow we're streaming Monday night because I do want to take a chance to... 
if I like the card, I'll watch it. If I don't like what's going on, I'll put it on the background. And once again, I can edit a little, uh, edit a little, or either edit some videos or, uh, work on some, uh, MLB the show grinding or somewhat. This will be Sarita because, well. Oh. Rex Everett's and Jada Parker with a debut afterwards. Maybe. Hey, it's Mrs. Big Bill, yeah. No, actually, it's uh, Lexi Nair is uh, is the one who's married to Big Bill. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but Deep's promos have the believability of uh, the believability of. Uh, Nigel McGinnis during a Brian Danielson match. <laughs> so, does Tomohiro Ishii finally get a win? I got a feeling that's why we're having this match tonight. <laughs> Two matches I'm intrigued by tomorrow is Wesley versus Zachary Weds and Ethan Page and Joe Hendry. Well, that Lee versus Wentz match just got a lot more interesting on Friday when uh, Wentz is actually now the X Division champion. So I'm really wondering how they're going to play this up because they're not going to want their champion to look bad. I, I know they let Jordan Grace lose uh, to, uh, to Roxanne Perez in a match, but with the feud the way it goes. Yes, I said his name. I'd love for him to show up and chat. Do you know how many more people would show up here if that was the case? We'd have like 50 people here. Just like Jericho has. Hi, guys. Deep now has. Let's go, Oilers. Uh, hey, that team's the reason my colors got changed here uh, during most of our streams now, so which I do feel is going to probably be a temporary change. We're probably around Christmas. I'm looking to change things now. Ishii, it's showtime. Let's hope that Ishii gets a win here. He has not gotten a singles win yet. Ishii needs a win, yes. Fletcher and his storyline really doesn't need one. Just picture Fletcher as Stokely. <laughs> now, you know what? You know what we need? We need to go to commercial right now and have them come back in the exact same pose. Oh. Fletcher fudged. We need Ishii to beat up Cal, so uh, we could always pray. You know, it really would be magic if we saw that. But yeah, Fletcher, like, 
issue that way. <laughs> you gotta send the arrows to him, like the the highlighted arrows all around. We're making like Tears of the Kingdom when you press shield, it automatically lines up where you're fighting. I have to say, the last time I was on here was finishing up the uh, Tears of the Kingdom uh, game. I Now that I've had a few minutes to decompress, I cannot believe how easy that boss was to finish off. Just that Briscoe lead up, baby. Briscoe and his word of the day. I don't think we're going to get that tonight, but. Fletcher looks like he's out of it right now. What to Callus? Uh, we want, we need Ishii to take out Callus. Like, you know, the flashing uh, lights, you know, shine. Just said Ishii towards Callus one way or the other here. Nice counter. Oh my god. I thought he was going to try and stand on his head again. Ishii with a... Absorbing that brain buster. Did you guys get it? For anyone that wasn't at... Temp, uh, here for the uh, dynamite sidecast on Wednesday. First of all, shame on you. Second of all, did you see Ishii at uh, when he got hit with that uh, brain buster or that DDT? He literally was hanging upside down by his head for a good ten seconds. so funny that Fletch is trying to use the uh, crowd as for some help. So yeah, we're going to see... Uh, yeah, we only got one more singles match in the main event. Yeah, he's a gymnast. Absolutely. For as long as he's been around in wrestling, you know, he's got to have... He's got to have some tricks that a lot of people... Uh, don't know about, right? Have you ever been around a wrestler that up the level of kayfabe to a level that you have not believed before? Like normally outside the ring, a wrestler will take the gimmick down a few levels. Working in the industry, I'd have to say the probably the biggest one for me uh, there's a wrestler out of DDT in Japan that came over here with a Canadians Wrestling Elite Tour. His name is Shigehiro Irii. You've been around a few. Uh, I'll give you that, all right? But, uh... Yeah, let, let's not bring up the Jason the Terrible incident there. That's just nightmares where to go. Uh... Anyway, Shigehiro, he would speak Japanese throughout the entire show. Just would not speak English whatsoever. So the crowd leave and they're cleaning up. He, uh, he just starts talking like he's a regular dude, right? Realizes I'm there and I'm not officially part of the show. I'm doing, um, I'm doing media for the show. And uh, all of a sudden, the uh, English goes away real quick. I, I just looked out like, it's all right. You're safe with me. It's all good. And I got the promoter gave him the look of, okay, yeah. So they just, whatever. Yeah, one day we're going to have to talk about that Jason the Terrible incident. Because that's got to be one of my worst three episodes ever 
when dealing with independent wrestling. That was technically my last night dealing with a Brit with uh, local brands here in town. Well, at least one of the big ones. Because yeah, now we're down we're down to four local promotions in town, and literally this week I've had two of them bicker at each other because they were on the same night. And frankly, if they're both holding buildings at 300 and, and uh, congratulate themselves about selling out while dissing the other guy, I don't think they have anything. Fletcher, the firearms aren't working. The forearms aren't working. Yeah. Yeah, Fletch. <laughs> it's one thing I found weird a lot with a lot of wrestlers. But a Fletcher's bleeding, I guess, because... Smith's got the gloves on right now. I love this. Let's take an extra five minutes just to heal. Is she showing emotion? Yeah. He can show emotion when he wants to. Jesus. Fletcher. Fletcher's just got so much damn potential. Like, I'm, I was a little disappointed about Wednesday's match against uh, Ricochet. I really hope they do get a rematch down the line. Not immediately, but give it some time. But I do hope that they get another match between these two again. Do you really want to do a half and half against Ishii? Fletcher's probably thinking when my partner comes back, baby. Fletcher's the damn future? I, I think so. My God, that's a release power bomb too. No, I think Fletcher and Davis, when they come back, there'll be another tag team run. And then after that, I think Fletcher will just hit the mood with, with a singles run, right? I still think there's still another tag team run in him with Mark Davis. But the thing about AEW... You expect a run to happen. It's probably going to happen like five years down the road. Even though the wrestler is ready to go. That was stiff. Do you really try to clothesline Ishii? Jesus. All right. Fletcher versus Osprey is the most underrated match of the year. I could definitely go with that. I would definitely go with that. And I think, uh, I wouldn't even mind talking about like some of the best and worst this year, but I, everything's just such a, ow. He hit the second and the first. But yeah, like Fletcher's had so many good matches and so many wrestlers, like it just all over the freaking place, personally. Is he gonna try and do a flying tombstone here? This is nuts. Not a chance. Yeah, that bo What the flag? 
What the flying issue was that? That was nuts! Ishii with a Rada? Ishii with a Rada off the top? All right, this just became a main event match. Like we saw so much potential out of Fletcher, like, all right, let's go. It's an Ishii Steiner. Oh, what a lariat. Oh my God, Ishii's getting up. Wah? Wow. I really wish Ishii would have got a win there, but <laughs> putting Fletcher over that Ishii's not going to lose anything by losing. It would be nice to see him get a few wins, but no, it, this was absolutely insane, this match. It was awesome. No, what a match. Like, And that's what we're talking about with AEW. That's one thing I really do enjoy with AEW. Is that uh, any match that you get, you could totally line up to be a main event match anywhere else. And on any show, really, one match could just show up out of nowhere and just create an absolute pit of awesomeness there. And as we get into the commercial here, we're getting close there. If I throw another set of commercials, we should be good for the rest of the show. So I'll do that right now. I love that I got my stream deck set up that I could play ads right off there so I don't have to sit here and play a whole bunch of buttons. I literally got one knob. I, I got to turn it to select how much time I want to put in, and then I just press the button and it does it. I got toys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gloating about toys, it's not. But, uh, yeah, no, Ish Ishii's not going to lose a... Got one, too. Well, wait, what? You got one now, too? The, uh... You got a stream deck? What do you need a stream... You're actually going to pop in the stream, finally? Oh, no. I throw it down for a second one, but oh, for the he he he! Yeah, let's. Bring all the boo birds. <laughs> No, hey. Yeah, AEW just has this way of producing just great random matches that just throw you for a loop here and you just don't expect them to be as good as they are right now. And they just, wow, let's go. And that was one of them. I think Commander and uh, Buddy Matthews is going to be absolutely amazing as well. That women's main event, I'm going to be honest, they're... Aminata, I haven't seen a lot of. She's mostly an ROH person. Deeb, I get a little scared for in her matches because they get get to be as dry as uh, plain toast at times. Thunder Rosa, if she doesn't like you, you know what's happening there. And then Sheeta, well, Sheeta's usually pretty good now that she's starting to get a little bit of a character too, right? So...
I'm optimistic, but I'm worried. I think, I think that's a better way to best way to put it. Let's give you one quick second here, chat. Been running around a little bit the last couple days. When I wear myself down too much, I get a bit of a cold sometimes. So, plus the fact I'm going in and out of air conditioning all day too, so that doesn't help. But yeah, they showed the whole Danielson thing, setting up to the Jack Perry. And I don't mind. I know a lot of people have been crapping on the Jack Perry thing. I don't mind it because nobody's really going to remember this title match anyway. So he gets Jack Perry here. He gets Darby Allen at Grand Slam. You're probably going to get one more shot in uh, October. And then set up Wrestle Dream, right? So the only time he's beaten Brian Danielson is the time that he wasn't truly medically cleared. Or medically recommended, I think is the proper way they put it. He was cleared but not recommended to fight. I love the graphics, by the way, for this. This is turning out to be an absolute gem of a card. It's still full of piss and vinegar. Uh, uh, Briscoe cast. You remember the history between those two. The history between Pac and uh, Orange Cassidy. Like the fact that they main evented Double or Nothing one year with Kenny Omega. This will be fun on Wednesday. Make sure you guys join us if you get a chance. It's going to be a very best. It's going to be a very fun show. Did they just have please rise? Nice to see Pac is still his happy self. I completely agree with you. How happy is Buddy these days? He's getting a lot of time to wrestle. His fiance. I don't know, fiance or wife is probably the most over act in WWE right now. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see Kathy Kelly's uh, Instagram post from earlier today. It's all over socials right now. The fact that she's trying to teach 
German to Rhea. And uh, the three lines he, she likes to say is, she teaches Rhea, good evening. I love you. You are my woman. I love that there's pretty much almost any random Mexican re wrestler that is, uh, you know, a face. Alex Abrahentes is out there. But he wouldn't mind the last part. Well, let's just say I see that uh, Buddy and Rhea have a, have a, their custom made built cabinet. Arcade cabinet. I'm done. I'm sold. I'm good. I I'm very excited for that. So And they're really lighting up all their cards going up for the next month. I'll let you guys know that for the next month here things are a little bit I, I try to say that, you know, we try to keep a normal schedule here, but everything's gonna be a really hit and miss here the next month. Um, I have set up my schedule previously sort of match up with what's coming, but we are a little shorthanded at work for the next month until I go for holidays on the 24th. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, if anybody needs to remember what my birthday is, it's very simple. Just look up Zelda echoes of wisdom. It sort of matches up or look up Oscar's birthday. It's the same, you know. People say you have to have famous wrestlers with the same birthday. I lied that perfect. I'll take Oscar any day for that. But uh, now I'll go over my my schedule here after this match because for the next week here it's it's okay. It's not crazy, but had no idea. I only looked at it because they look famous birthdays, blah, blah, blah. Why do I got a feeling this is going to be an insane match that already is there? <laughs> Come out there, go for a flip and they a nope. Nice reversal. It's really sucked that uh, Command there got limited about who he could face. Because the thing with, uh, oh God. Wow. He caught him in a suplex position there. Like literally caught up. Like it's like if Roman's going for a spear, you just right in there, hook it up, and go over. But no, it's it sucks because of the politics in AAA and that the commander's been limited on who he can face. Apparently, uh, anybody that works for AAA cannot work with any of the top stars in New Japan or um, CMLL. So they were having a little, little hard time trying to get matches for guys like Vikingo for uh, Commander, and you know. What the hell is Tony saying in picture in picture? <laughs> oh my! Tony just ribbed uh, Nigel on commentary. If you guys are getting the chance to listen to picture picture here. If you didn't get a chance to see it, I'll I'll throw it out quickly for you here. Tony, Nigel, you you getting to call one of your matches actually has made me a better commentator. Nigel's like, well, I'm gonna record that. That's awesome. 
Tony. Oh my God, Spirit of Nigel. Kristen just speared Nigel. Shut up, Tony. <laughs> I'd love to see Buddy win this one just because he needs a little, uh, oh my God, the guy in the black, he just got a fist bump from Buddy. He might not wash that hand ever again, which let's be real, 50-50 for most wrestling fans these days, so. I gotta admit, the South Dakota crowd hasn't been horrible. It hasn't been, you know, hasn't been red hot, but it's been there. <laughs> but he's got me you know, the palm of his hand, though. I really wonder what that Chicago crowd is going to be like next weekend. Usually it's pretty fired up, but for the amount of times that Chicago's gotten wrestling here in the last while, are they going to be a burnt out crowd? It's great they even went there. It's not exactly a big vic. Well, What I've been seeing lately is AEW's been booking more college arenas rather than NBA style. And let's face it, Collision, you're getting maybe 3,000 people or so at, that, at most. But he's got his knee trapped in a rope and still gets off his high knee. Even for college, no one lives in South Dakota unless you're an all tycoon. Fair enough. Unless you're out there to take a look at the, uh, you know, the Mount Rushmore of uh, everything. These guys are at the point of the match where they're just throwing out every uh, big move that they can at this point. The Mount Rushmore about Rushmore's. <laughs> My God, Blue Jays are up by 15 now. Oh, Jesus. What's this world coming to now? After we talked about the Goudreau stuff, uh, Ricky Purse, a uh, first-round draft pick of the San Francisco 49ers, just got shot today in, uh, in an attempted robbery. Not, I don't know if he's dead or not. I haven't read the article, but he's been shot. Good that the Jays finally figured it out. Well, a little late, though. Watch the two new guys on the roster just look ball out like no, no one before. Ah, the spear worked this time. Maybe. I think but. Purse all expect to be good. Awesome. Okay, thanks guys for checking that out for me here. I just got that from the score, so. Your buddy barely gets out after two. These are the matches we've been waiting for forever here. If Buddy wouldn't erect his knee up, we'd be getting these for a while here.
And Buddy just threw his threw a knee out that's made CM Punk jealous. Oh god. That's one way to get out of that. Well smack to the face. All right, that's it. We're done here. Matthews with the victory. Jesus. When Matthews hits some shots, he gets... He gets tight on those. And Brody's here. And the two women in the front row. You notice I say the two women, not some two women. Matthews versus Fletch. My God, we could definitely. Uh oh. Okay. Friday night fashion fight. Well, that's a good that's a good response. You don't need to say much. Flamboyant versus want to kill you. Ah, uh, here we go. Now, the attempt to put Cerrito over here. I love MX. They are so great together. You ever get a chance to watch your Twitch streams? They, they're so hilarious on there as well. So, so great, uh, great to experience. All right, we got to the last commercial break here. Uh, not going to run any ads right now, so we can give you a red data of what's going to be coming up this week. Uh, no stream tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, Going to check out uh, uh, NXT. I want to see if uh, Julia actually shows up. I want to see what happens with uh, Wentz and Lee. I want to see what happens with uh, the main event there. If they actually give Joe Henry the title. MX Ember Baseballs. <laughs> Just for the balls part. That's okay. I'm only, that's why I get a couple seconds. I will be back here on Monday. For any of you that play Street Fighter VI... Uh, there will be a deal on uh, some special skids. No. Uh, it, if you uh, maybe double up my GMO tonight. No. I'll be honest, I am exhausted tonight. Uh, I just came off a 32-hour shift tonight, so that's why... I tell you guys that streams might be a little weird the next few weeks. Uh, so, but did I, if you guys want to uh, pick up a special cabbie skin for uh, Street Fighter 6, all that's going to do is cost you a sub. Uh, so that just helps us. And then uh, Tuesday's a wild card. We might, probably not, but maybe. Wednesday, we're going to be here with AEW Dynamite. And the double taping of uh, WWE 2K24 by GM mode. And then uh, Thursday, 
Uh, I do believe what I recommend is actually canceling and like not your cancel is going to carry through until the time. I think you, I think it actually does count for reoccurring as well. So I'll double check on that for you, Zodiac, just to be safe. Uh, I do believe it is for reoccurring subs as well. All you have to do is hit that share button to uh, announce that you're resubbed again, I do believe. But save the, we'll save that for later. Uh, it is a support a streamer campaign, so one sub gets you the free skid of anybody that's streaming Street Fighter VI. That's why I say we're going to be doing that for the next couple of weeks a little bit more, but I digress. Uh, Thursday, I am going to put a poll up on X probably tomorrow night. You guys are going to vote for which of the four games we're going to play for the start of the NFL season. NFL Blitz 2002 for the uh, Xbox uh, NFL Street for the uh, Xbox yeah it's still for the Xbox uh, we also have uh, Mutant League Football uh, the Dynasty Edition for the Xbox One or the wild card that I just picked up yesterday there is a new game called Wild Card Football well it's, it's, sort of, it's supposed to be sort of like a card game on top of a football game it's more football than card, but but that was available free on Steam, so uh, so I picked that up. So that'll be the fourth option there. You'll have until Wednesday to vote, and then uh, Thursday we'll be uh, playing a little football as we get ready for the Chiefs and the Ravens to open up uh, the 2024 season. So once again, if you are following, please uh, hit that follow button. And subs are 25 to 30% off if you're really considering anything. I would recommend getting your subs now. And if you want to cancel after that, it's just one payment and you're done there. Okay, I can live with that for Wednesday. Nyla getting a talus shot. That sounds normal. Kyle Orange and Will Ospreay, like that's why I'm worried about this all out pay-per-view. Is anybody gonna get injured before? One sec chat. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to see see Sheeta do it again. I wouldn't mind it. Because I'd like to see a little longer match between uh, Money and uh, Sheeta. And I do expect a little smaller card compared to what we had at uh, Wembley. So. They realistically should have four tunnels. Faces, heels, heels that are think they're faces and faces that think they're heels. Buy my shirt, you get a flag. <laughs> Granted, that's probably one of the few shirts he sold tonight. Now, Kriya Dominata has been here in uh, Alberta for a couple, for for one stint at least. Uh, she was here as part of Top Tile Pro Wrestling, took on local uh, Ava Lawless, which... Ava, if you haven't seen her, she's been doing a little bit of work in Defy in the Pacific Northwest. And she's also done a little bit, I do believe, for C4 in Ontario, so... Yeah, Amanada is just brand new, straight out of South Africa. And she's improved a lot since she started, so. Well, 
Why do I think uh, when I think of Thunder Rosa, I think of 2015 Roman Reigns in a way. The Booker is seriously trying to get her over as a face to everybody. And outside of Texas, nobody gives two hits. Well, once again, everybody, just thank you for stopping by here. I do appreciate it. Appreciate having you here. It's always fun checking out wrestling with friends. And one thing I can't appreciate more than anything is uh, Sheena doing uh, a cosplay gimmick as, as her true gimmick now. Uh, straight out of the Yakuza series. They're giving him a full 10 minutes here, so. I know, I know, a full 10 minutes is not much, but. It's better than the speed tournament. That's all I can say about that. Which, if you haven't kept track, it starts on Wednesday if anybody's wanting to watch that. It's AEW, they will go over. Maybe. Collision typically doesn't go over that much. This is a live collision, though, so it might change. I know their tape ones very rarely will ever go over. I think the only one that I've seen go over in a lot, long time was actually uh, the day before All In here. And that's and that was strange because that was taped. So did you hear how uh, everybody was talking about the ratings and how the ratings did improve or all that? They uh, apparently Nielsen forgot to include the overrun in terms of the fans that came to watch. So they actually got a six thousand fan view boost. Uh, because of the overrun. <laughs> All right, that looked rough. I am loving this new Sheena gimmick here. Just being ruthless in there. It's like turning into a mob boss here, just out to kick everybody. Nobody's getting anything. Nope. It's almost weird if you think about who's face, who's heel, because normally the faces get that. But Thunder Rosa is always supposed to be a face, right? As we head into our last picture picture of the night. And the reason I know it's live is because I'm actually getting the real feed, not the... Uh, Really? I've always hated this spot more than anything in the world. Like, you really can't get out of there? At least have one of them face the hard cab. Seriously. Yes, I know that's like fifth level trolling and worried about stuff, so. I hate that spot. <laughs> I 
Because it, it, it's just not believable. Like, you'd stick your head between your legs and you can't move. I know if you're McG, that's the case, but that's a different story altogether. And a different topic we talked about five minutes ago. I'm trying to get off of that. And not in that way. <sighs> That's all we got. One goddamn hit. You can't say goddamn on the air. Don't worry, nobody's listening anyway. If you're talking about your balls, I might reply, so. I'm not 100% sure, but. Sorry, I just seeing all this great news that's coming down the wire here right now. Watching Kikuchi do well, watch the Jays do it well. Brought it on myself? Yeah, I know. It's my fault. I will admit it. So great to watch Tony Giovanni back at work again. It just it sounds like he's having fun now. That's the big thing. Oh, oh, that was stiff. That was a stiff kick. Personally, I'd almost like to like to see it be Aminata. We know that Mercedes ain't gonna lose this match no matter what. So hip attacks all the way around. Is it sort of blasphemy that uh, Aminata did? A mafia kick to Sheeta when she's playing a mob boss gimmick. <laughs> Aminata just sad bagged her on that clothesline. Uh, I only bring that up in a Thunderosa match, that word. Both these girls don't, like, take it a clothesline. There you go. She actually took a clothesline. Dragon screw on the... Yep, there we go. It just doesn't feel like Deep's got anything. I've never believed in doing a submission in a uh, Fatal 4-Way. Ah, here we go. There's the announcement for the override. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right about the override. Deep is the Andrade of women's wrestling? Very well could be. That's actually a very good comparison. Like, great technically, but just has the charisma of a spood. Who's she married to? Is, it, is that going to keep her at a job? No. I don't think so, at least. Because you know Andrade's got a 
got a uh oh god damn what a zack stab you know andrade's got a contract for as long as he wants it right as long as charlotte's around Wow, that looked off. I don't think Charlotte's stock is as high as he used to be. I, I, I just wonder what kind of matches she's going to have left. Because there ain't much left for her. Snap the leg at the same time you throw a suplex. It's so funny. The crowd's third daughter already. Yeah. She got extremely stale. Yeah. Well, you want to talk about a Roman Reigns of the women's division? It's the same thing with Thunder Rosa. Don't steal Jamie Hayter's finisher. Oh my God, cut her out of nowhere. Oh yeah, that was a knockout. Is she not gonna win this? We're all four women just gonna lose it. I'd laugh it was a tie. All right, this match just picked up. Okay, Thunder's down. Usually somebody sneaks in at the last minute to take the victory on these, so I'm not really counting on either one of these two winning. You piece of... I told you my app was going to die there. What? I tried to correct it, and it wouldn't do it. Oh, please don't script. <sighs> this Roku TV is going to be the end of me. We're going to have to set a complaint into Roku here soon. <sighs> oh my God. Thunder Rosa didn't turn her head back. She can't tap if she doesn't have a head. That sucked. She'd have missed. No, that was awkward, but that's okay. Rose almost died there, yeah. All right, I guess we're getting, uh, we're getting Thunder Rosa Mercedes again.
I wonder if it, uh, like you were talking about, you know, having that attitude change here earlier. Maybe this is what that finally triggers it for Sheeta. Because I don't see, like, let's face it, I don't see Mercedes losing anytime soon. Oh, I'll definitely get a stretch in here. We'll get a stretch in during the break as well, so. Yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna find out who, uh, who's in charge of the Roku, uh, division. Is Rosa okay? I don't know. That sucked. I'm glad that they did get the angle where they showed her head completely crotched, but that was on her. If she's not familiar with the, she's not familiar with the move. Normally in wrestling, you tuck your chin, right? Which will expose your head. Well, when that move comes down like that, you're actually supposed to do the, it's like the styles clash. The styles clash, you got to keep your chin up because if you keep your head down, you'll press your head right down to the ground. But yeah, like, I hope she's okay. But this is another example of with Thunder Rosa, it being the, the Roman Reigns 2015 of the AEW Women's Division. They're trying to push it. They're trying to get her into that position. And I get it that she's very well liked on the indies for the word indie she works. But I don't know if it's working here. As a overall thing, I, I hope it. I hope she's okay. I hope they can figure out something for her to make it work. But I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's the case. But either way, Sheena's on her way to uh, face uh, Mercedes at All Out. So that that should be a great match if they're giving a little bit more time than they were on Dynamite, or that was Collision. Sorry, that was. That was Mercedes Collision debut. So we had that. We have uh, the announcement of the six-way, six-man tag coming up on Wednesday with Pac uh, teaming up with his uh, BCC trios tag title teammates. Going to be taking on Will Ospreay, Orange Cassidy, Kyle O'Reilly, which, yeah. Opened up with a couple th six-man tags there with the BCC getting over... Uh, the crazy collaboration tag all over the place there. GYV versus FTR. I got a feeling that's probably going to be announced for the pe the pay-per-view on, on uh, Saturday. I don't think they hold out any longer than that because that's totally what they're going to want to see. Uh, Buddy Matthews come out there. They're setting up that match for next Friday uh, with MXM Collection, which... Yeah, that'll be fun. And then, uh, yeah, just having Cheetah set up to take out Mercedes at All Out. So I'm glad they got everything pieced together here. And the card's starting to shape pretty good here. So they're going to add some more matches on Wednesday. I'm sure Box is going to be there to stir stuff up. He might even show up on Friday. Who knows at this point, but...